welcome to my kitchen. We are here another day for another fantastic recipe. And today is the turn of Vieira Saragallega or scallops Galician style. This is a great dish for a festive season, for Christmas, for a birthday, for any special occasion. Of course, if you really love it, you can have it anytime. Um, this is a special video because for the first time I am showing my face and it's a bit weird but I hope that you enjoy the new layout of the videos and I hope they are clear, concise and bring you all what you need to create this marvelous dish. So let's get into it. Vamos a cocinar! Right. And the way that we start our scallops is by adding the onions onto the pan where I already have hot a few spoonfuls of hot olive oil. And what we will do, we cook them in low heat first and then we will increase the heat to get them brown. Right, so my onion is already getting brown, as you can see. I'm going to turn down the heat a bit and I'm going to add the wine. You can add, you can add any white wine, but the better the quality, the better the dish will taste. Uh, a good Galician wine would be nicer, Ribeiro or Alvarino, Godella one of those, but you know, any good wine will do for this dish. Let's just add the wine now. And a little bit more. And we let it reduce. Once that the wine has reduced, as you can see, what we are going to do, we will add the tomato sauce. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of my trusty tomate frito, but you can add any um, tomato sauce that you like. I'll add, let's see, two, I'll add three tomato sauce. And we'll mix it well. Put up the fire a bit. And we let it cook for a few minutes. The mix has been cooking for about three, four minutes and it's looking good. I believe this is ready. Um, I'm going to add a bit of salt before I forget. I, as I use all, I always use pink salt, but you use whichever, whichever salt you prefer. I'll mix it. I don't usually put pepper. On, on this kind of dishes. I don't think it needs it. Some people may do, but I don't. My mum didn't do it. So what I'll do, I'll remove off the heat and I'll take it out of the pan into a bowl. And I will set aside. Now, one of the things that you would use in this recipe is serrano ham, but because I don't eat any meat, I will be using what we call bacon or fake bacon. In my case, I'll be using this is a bacon. I think it's pretty nice. It's pretty close to what bacon <clears throat> usually is. I will fry a little bit in the pan just because um, obviously it's plant-based. So it will take longer to cook in the oven. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a fry so it's ready to go in the pan, in the in the oven with the scallops. If you did it with um, serrano ham, chopped serrano ham, you don't have to put it in the pan. You just put it directly onto the scallops as I'm going to show you in one moment. Okay, so now we are going to start uh, preparing the dish. I've got my shells already. I had them for years. My mom, my mom gave them to me years and years ago. But you can get them from your fishmongers or your local shop, etc. Um, I'm going to. I've got the scallops. 
I got them from Morrison, some of them have the orange bit, some of them don't. I prefer them with the orange bit, but you know, as I always say, we have to make do with what we got and we're going to put them in their shells. So we put one there, one there. We're going to add our bacon, as I said before, just a few bits. If you did serrano ham, as I said before, you do not have to put it in the pan, just chop it in um, strips or finely like this one and put it straight onto the scallops. You don't need to do anything like what I've done. This is fake meat uh, and I need it to cook it a bit before um, using it in the oven. After that we are going to add the uh, onion mixture on top so we're going to try and cover all of them they like dancing guys the video was not recording for some reason I forgot I was too excited doing this and what I was saying is that you need to put the breadcrumbs on top of the uh, onion mix and cover it like this more or less doesn't need to be perfect you know the important thing is the taste and this is already smelling so delicious it is amazing yeah we made a mess but it doesn't matter we can clean it and then when we eat this this is going to be outstanding now this is what they look like more or less doesn't need to be perfect just covered so these beauties you're gonna put them on a tray on a baking tray and you're gonna stick them on a preheated oven when you start seeing that the top starts getting brown is when they start getting ready but as soon as they're brownish brown um, they should be ready so give it about three four five minutes more or less at 220 degrees and you are going to love it it's not just me telling you, trust me, trust me. And here we go. Out of the oven, my beautiful Vieiras. I almost got them burned. I remember they were in the oven. So I saved them. So look at that. They're precious and delicious. If you don't cook these, you're crazy. You will enjoy it so much and you will impress your friends and your family. This is the perfect Christmas dish, the perfect New Year's Eve dish, the perfect Boxing Day dish, the perfect Christmas Eve day, the perfect birthday day uh, dish. It's the perfect for everything. So, if you like this recipe and you like our channel, do subscribe, it's free. J uh, share in Facebook, Instagram, give us a like, comment, uh, do what you need to do to share the love of food. Um, I'm going to show you something actually. Let me cut one of them through. And I'm going to show you, look at this. This is nice. Where are you? Here. See that? That is cooked to perfection that is nice, moist and delicious. I cannot go without showing you that. So, to subscribe, give us a like, thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video again. Bye!